What's going on YouTube? Welcome to All Things Nerdy, where I bring you all things nerdy. And I wanted to do a quick little video, um, hopefully quick at least, sharing my time from PopCon that I got to attend a few weeks ago. Uh, first, I have to start off by saying thank you to that generous donor again that allowed me basically to go. I had some bills pop up last minute that I was going to hinder me from being able to go, and um, this person came through and really helped me out, and I highly appreciate that again. Um, I wanted to, I did record, I took my little camcorder with me, and while it's basic equipment, it, it does the trick for now. Um, I'm working on upgrading that, but it costs money, and, you know, bills kind of hinder you from doing that sort of thing, but we're, we're working on it. Uh, if you've never been to Comic-Con or any con of any sort, I highly suggest you do. Uh, go on Google, look around your city, whatever you have to do, but there should be something going on around you. Or even if you have to travel a little bit, I, I'm I'm based out of Ohio, and PopCon was in Indiana, and I drove we drove over to Indiana. Straight, great time. Um, each con usually has a theme about it. You know, PopCon's theme is it's pop culture based. You know, Comic Con has a little bit more of a comics sort of taste. There's horror ones, um, all, all all sorts of them. Um, being pop culture based, there was a ton of YouTubers there. I got to meet people like The Completionist or Andre from Black Nerd Comedy. Uh, I got to snag a little picture with him really quick. Fantastic guy. I love his videos. Go check him out if you can. Uh, he's he's blown up. He's got a huge channel now. He's doing a lot of awesome things, and it was really awesome to meet him. Um, there was a ton of other celebrities, too, You know, from people like Rupert from Survivor. If you've watched Survivor, I, I believe he was uh, season, season one or two, the hippie. He was always in tie-dye. Uh, he's an awesome guy. Or uh, Casper from Starship Troopers. He played Rico. There was a lot of different celebrities there. Masterpiece from uh, uh, WWE. If you watch wrestling back in the day, he, he was a good wrestler. Uh, there, there was a fantastic amount of them. Uh, there was also other things for you. You didn't have to go meet celebrities if you didn't want to. There was a ton of vendors. Um, I got to pick up a couple things. The, with the leftover money, I got to pick up a couple things, including something I had been hunting for. I don't like to order a lot of these online, but if I see them, I, I usually try and snag them if I can. Um, I got to pick up a Funko Pop Colossus. That's my favorite character, so I've been hunting for him, and it was fantastic. I got him at a pretty good price. Pulled the trigger on it. That was awesome. Great thing to add to my collection here. Um, a couple other things that we picked up there, just small little trinkets. Um, but past that, they had things for you if you weren't looking to buy anything that were free. For instance, they had a huge Halo tournament going on in which they recorded it. Um, you could join into the tournament yourself if you wanted to. It did cost money and you needed a full team to be able to jump into the tournament. But it was still a good thing to see. Even if you weren't wanting to join in, you could go sit down and watch this huge... They had a huge stage... Um, with all sorts of people playing, uh, shoutcasters calling the games as they went on, and it, that was phenomenal. Uh, they had other th stages going on as well, like Markiplier. The man almost completely shut down PopCon when he went up on stage. Everywhere seemed to empty out and s focus over on the stage when he showed up. I has a, The man has a fantastic following, and kudos to him. I've not seen so many people flock for a YouTuber like that, it's just fen phenomenal. There was also a lot of great cosplay there. I'm working on trying to put my own little piece together. It's something that I, I would like to dabble in a little bit, but you know, being all things geeky, all things nerdy, I, I want to try and dabble in everything. So whenever I get my first piece fully put together, I'll try and do a little video just kind of talking about it and showing you what all I did. Uh, past that, there was a lot of great cosplay. They had some cosplay contests going on. I didn't get to really check that out as three days can go by pretty quickly if you're not um, on top of things. They did have a lot of extra events going on, free events. They had movie showings that were free. You could go watch uh, all the Star Wars movies they had playing. And backtracking on to the amount of people that you meet there, it's a very easy and fun time to meet a lot of new and interesting people. Uh, one group I met from a previous convention uh, was Crit Confirmed Entertainment. Uh, they're a group of people who put on a event called The Endless Dungeon, and they were putting it on again for PopCon. So I spent a good amount of time there with them, uh, getting to know them more and having a good time. The Endless Dungeon is a 
event where the audience members can pay to join in on a game of Pathfinder, where the audience can also affect the game in a positive or negative way. Everything that they make from this from these uh, conventions goes to the Extra Life Charity Foundation, which is fantastic of them to do. Uh, they are actually a large growing group. Uh, they are ranked number 11th right now as far as charities uh, donating to the Extra Life, Char- or Extra Life Foundation. Um, they're just above uh, Rooster Teeth, in fact. I had a great time with them, and they were kind enough to allow me to interview them after everything was said and done on Sunday. So be sure to stick around and check out that video coming up. Um, in the future, after it's uploaded, I'll also be sure to link it in this video here on the screen. But if you've never been to a con, let me know what kind of questions do you have as far as the experience. It's a phenomenal time. You get to do a lot of extra things that you normally wouldn't get to do and see a lot of things that you normally wouldn't get to see. You know, it's a good time to get your inner nerd to come out and be around other nerds and have a good time. But past that, I hope you stuck around and got to get a little bit of the feel of what a convention is like, or at least PopCon was like. And thank you for stopping by. Stay nerdy and have a good one.